You wind up getting the ball back on your eight yard line. And coach, I want to talk to you about the strategy of the game at that point because you can go into overtime. So let's talk about it in real time, guys. Go ahead, coach. Talk to us about the strategy coming out of your own and knowing you could go into overtime if you wanted to. Yeah, our whole thought was this. Now's the time. If we ever had a drive in us, let's do let's get it going here and gobble up five minutes and walk away with the win. And uh, we knew how we were going to do it. We felt part of our plan was to wear them down. And in the fourth quarter, we better be able to run the ball down their throat. The body, the body, the body. The body, the body, the body. You got it, Wes. Yes, sir. I mean, and, and look at this drive <laughs> from the sideline. You got, what, 12, 13 guys on that offense that played in the NFL at one point. That whole offensive line played in the NFL at one point. So there's a lot of talent up front. And it all came together at the end of the game where we needed them entire offense play in the National Football League, which is just unbelievable. But just a, just a bunch of guys, man, coming together, playing confident, just doing what they're supposed to do, just executing, doing your job. Ty, what's going on in the huddle right now? Uh, Mike was... Back? Is it quiet Mike? confidence or is someone talking? Is Mike Peel talking? Are you talking? What's going on? So Mike, Mike was the one always talking in the a lot of guys, we didn't really speak much. And he was just a great leader, very confident. And before the play, he'd be like, Ray, let's go here. He'll call the play, and we'd just block our behinds off, and Ray was doing his thing. But every it was just a quiet confidence in that huddle. And we, we knew what we were trying to do, and we just went out there and did it. It's all about execution, man. And football's a simple game when you break it down. You just got to execute. Jamal, I think most of the time when the other side of the ball is on the field, we're on the bench talking to our coaches and talking strategy. Are you guys on the sideline now watching this or are you sitting down? I think we were still on the sideline because we always thought next play, next play, next right. play. So we're on the sideline looking on the jumbotron and we're seeing them just hammer away. And every play wasn't a positive play, but right. they just kept hammering, they kept chopping, chopping, chopping. And we were fired up on the sideline of the D-line. <laughs> I mean, Jamal, Jamal might be wrong, and I hate to call him out right now because there's still a lot of game left. So we're sitting there still game planning about yeah. what's going to happen if we score a touchdown. Here's <laughs> they score a field goal. And if you, mm -hmm. we actually had to go on the field at the end of the game to win the game. So the game was there over, and I don't remember many points in any game that we played where we were really spectators. And for me, I was getting back to the bench and pulling the rest of the D-line, especially E. Foster, all the energy he had. <laughs> he needs to reserve his energy. So oh, sit down, sit down, get some water, and let's get it done. Mm -hmm. you, you know what? I really listened uh, most of the time on this drive, Jerry. There was only one time on that third and six. Again, I didn't care what play. I remember Coach Paterno saying it. Players, not plays. Players, not plays. When it was third and six, I went to the guy that I had the utmost respect and trust in, Brian Leonard. And I just, I didn't tell him the play. I just clicked over and said, get the ball to Leonard. And then I clicked back to the game. The swing pass, right? The swing pass, yep. It was a great call. It was yep. a great call. <laughs> I can't take credit for the call, but I said, get the no, ball. I know, but it was low risk. <laughs> I mean, it really was. I mean, you can go into overtime. You know, it was a call that didn't put your team at risk. And obviously, you got a big play. No doubt. Man, look at Co like, Coach totally said different. it. Yeah. Okay, Coach now, said it. Oh, look at their faces. Say it again. All right, okay. All right, third and four. Center the ball. Hmm. Jeremy Ito, very dependable. No doubt. Very dependable. That's why you want him in your foursome, Jerry. <laughs> That's a young coach, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, are you, what are you saying? Yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> Seriously. Look at Coach. Look at Coach. Coach, you can wear you out. Hey, Wes, a lot of people forget the William Gay play, though. Yes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
He was he was in the state call. I mean, he wasn't part of the question. He was just a contained player. I remember this field goal because I was nervous because I had a uh, offside. I jumped on one of our earlier field goals in the game. So I remember the last one, I was like, don't move, Wes. Do not move until they move. Protect and cover, protect and cover. Don't move. Because I had one, and I know you only get one around here. So I said, don't move until they move. <laughs> That's <laughs> you only get one, right, Wes? You, you only get one. That's, <laughs> That's it. That's it. I think unless your name's Kenny, Kenny, unless your name's Kenny Britt, then you get two. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, you got to give him two. Yeah. <laughs> Coach hit on it earlier, man. Just prepare through the event. Like, it was no big halftime speech. You just continue to prepare through the event. And that's what we right. did. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Protect and cover, <laughs> protect and cover. I was big. I was like 267 now. <laughs> Coach, Coach Susan was in your brain, wasn't he, Jamal? <laughs> Cali. Oh. Ito, Ito said he knew, Jerry. Ito said, I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's more, just wanted to be excited. I, I believe. I believe he's just, you know, knowing the area of the I didn't even know what was going on. Whew. Did it quiet yeah. down when they were getting ready for Jeremy to kick it? It went I dead thought. silent. Dead silent right before he kicked it. I mean, wow. dead silent. Mm. There it is. Wow. Anybody have goosebumps? Or you guys are too old and sophisticated to have goosebumps? No. Uh, yeah, you feel it. Bump. Yeah. <laughs> you feel it. <laughs> Even now, because nobody I feel like talks, I'm nervous. Nobody, exact, nobody really talks to, you know, Ito except for Cali. So I was like, all right, he's a kicker. He got it, though. Ito has it. And only Cali could be the one to talk to him. Come on, Cali. Get him right. The biggest holder yeah. in America, right, Cali? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There it is. Guys, we hang the ball here with the skyway. Right here. <laughs> right there. Call it uh, out. The point. <laughs> I, have, I have one more feeling question for you, Coach. So you decide to kick it deep. And let, let me tell you, Jerry. I would fire me now if, if I did that ever again. Let me just tell you something. I, I'm not going to name names, but I had a special teams coordinator who came up to me and said, I guarantee you will kick it through the end zone. But like an idiot, I said, oh, okay. My goodness gracious. They had some good returns against you all game. They had already run a touchdown. They already returned one from a touchdown. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Trust me. Live and learn. Well, he only left you one second on the clock. Special teams coach yeah. killed 12 seconds. He knew. He knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me remember on the, the first touchdown they ran back, Ito missed that last tackle. On this one, he kind of hammered the guy. Yeah, Ito was pumped up. Right yeah, there. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got hammered. He got hammered. He's still – oh, my shoulder. That still hurts. It hurts my golf swing now. <laughs> last play of the game. You know we're running. Oh, that? Who's on the field? <laughs> they definitely stole the field we, early. We weren't Tomorrow used to. Are you, are you guys on? Are you in the last play? Yeah, we're did, just did yelling, get either, off yeah. the field. We're just waving yeah, back in a way. <laughs> we didn't want to get the yeah, I got the ball from the last play. I still got the ball. Do you really? Got the ball? Yes. I got the ball <laughs> from the last play. Of the game. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can see the little Cardinal on there. Look at that. <laughs> How did you get the ball? I'm jealous, man. I was underneath the pile, and as the crowd jumped on me, I was, I was literally underneath the pile. And it was so fun, and I couldn't, you know, it was fun, it was fun, but then you can't breathe because of the weight. And literally the ball just rolled underneath my arm. And I grabbed it, and I was like, get off of me. And I was just poking <laughs> people in the ribs. That's really the ball? This is Louisville ball. Seriously? Wow. Yes. This is the Louisville ball. That's the one. Did you guys know he had the ball? Come on, no, I didn't know he had the ball. I can't wait to pull that ball out. <laughs> yep, that happened, man. That's classic. 
I, I don't have my gloves from the game because the fans took it off. I don't have my mouthpiece from the game because the fans took it off my helmet. <laughs> this is all I have, man. Our, our classmates were fired up. I mean, amazing I know, feeling. You know, but other guys had all that stuff taken away from them, and they don't have the ball. You should, <laughs> you should, you should be on a rotating basis. Every week, someone else should get it. <laughs> They got to come take it from me. Hey, hey Jerry, it should be like the Stanley Cup, right? They should carry it around. That's awesome, man.